Hello, Virgo. We back with another reading for you, Virgo. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, um, somebody was caught watching you or researching you or looking you up. Um, it could be a water sign that's stuck. A water sign could be slowed down or this water sign could be like um, trying to come towards you with a slow methodical approach. I feel like this person wants smoke with you or they're jealous of you or they want to fight you. It could be a, um, a water sign. Or this could be a mother figure. Somebody, they got a reputation of doing the most when they high. Okay. Somebody has a reputation of doing the most when they high. I'm getting you and a boss daddy figured it out. Okay. Somebody has broke up with someone because either they're miserable and they're reflecting on how miserable they are with someone or they're reflecting on somebody not being a boss bitch. Whoever this is. Somebody's not a boss bitch or they're just reflecting on this person. They're like, man, you're not multifaceted. You don't. You just like, mm -mm. Anyway. Let's get into this message here. Yeah, somebody did not move on. Somebody's still with the karmic lover. Okay, I feel like somebody's karmic lover is mad at you. And you're like, shit, what I do? I ain't did shit to you. Somebody's karmic lover is mad at you for some reason, Bird. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they got rejected or whatever. Or somebody here is triggered, all right? Maybe somebody feels like, oh, you're stunning on me, Bird. I feel like you're just being yourself, Virgo. You're working hard, and that's just that. Hold on, Virg. One second. Why is this like this? Hold on, y'all. Okay, so something about clarity. I feel like this could be energies that try to stun on you, Virgo, but they going to jail. Like, period. And I feel like somebody knows that they're not going to be into them once they go to jail. Okay? Whoever this is, they're like, man, I know you're not going to be into me. when I know you're going to go straight to Virgo as soon as I, go, as soon as I get locked up or as soon as I go to jail. Yep. Yeah. Mm, That's what somebody's saying. Like, I know you're going to run away from me as soon as I get locked up. No, maybe this somebody saying this. I don't know. So I feel like you could be watching some shit go down because somebody's trying to be a Karen. Okay, somebody's trying to be a Karen, or they're trying to like uh, whoever this crazy person is. I feel like somebody doesn't have anything to lose. This could be a crazy thief. This person don't have nothing to lose. I avoid people like that. Avoid them at all costs. When they ain't got nothing to lose, they want you to lose too. So ignore them type of people. That's what I say. I ignore them. Or I press charges. Either or. But being, being that, that trigger finger to, to the police department will be on speed dial. Because if you crazy, you ain't finna fuck up my life. I'm gonna press charges on you. And I'm gonna hit you where it hurt. In them pockets. So stop playing. Whoever this is, they wanted to steal your ideas anyway. Because they're not a boss. They can't they don't have any creative flow or any uh, creative juices in them. They think doing love spells and being in toxic connections is, is the way to go. What is this? energy for Virgo. Caring energy for Virgo. We have holding on to each other. Creativity muncher. Back with X. But still watching you. One more card for Virgo. We have a girl fight. So somebody's ex want to fight you. Just simple. Because they know that this person wants you back. Yeah. Somebody's ex want to fight you. Or they're at war. Or they're competing. 
for some reason because they know that their lover that they gotten back with wants to fight you. We have a boss daddy that could be getting high, venting about you. Okay, something here about children, using children as manipulation, and they're crying. Somebody keeps using children as a manipulation tactic to get this boss daddy back. And I feel like they fall for it every time, and they're mad, or they're upset, or they're crying about this. So I feel like you and somebody could be energetically holding on to each other. Not necessarily, when I look at this card, this is not you having sex with someone, Virgo. You're just holding on to somebody energy. You're holding on to this person's energy and or they're holding on to your energy, but still holding on to each other. So you still have this person's energy and they still have your energy. You're still holding on to them. You are. Okay. I'm taking how it resonates. So there could be some repressed emotions about this person because either they ghosted you or they left you. Maybe somebody's depressed. Maybe they're depressed because either this person could be in debt. They could be taking a fall from grace. What else we have here, spirit guides, angels and ancestors? Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Okay. We have all right. All right. I'm getting somebody really wants forgiveness. But I feel like you could be in this Queen of Swords energy. I'm picking up some shots fired to a distorted um. I feel like a distorted feminine got in their feelings about something because there's trouble coming out about them. Yeah, the five of swords. There's trouble coming out about a distorted feminine or somebody's actually realizing they are the distorted feminine or they are the karmic. So somebody's coming to realization that the person that they're with or the person that they chose was the karmic. This whole time, 717 on the clock, somebody thought that they were picking their empress or they thought that they chose an empress, but they chose a distorted feminine. Who is not a healer, literally. That this person is in despair. They're very insecure. They don't trust themselves. They don't believe. They have a lack of faith. Let's go. What's the messages here? All right. For we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. For some of you, this is somebody that you're supposed to build a uh, longevity and wealth with, Virgo. Your energy is coming out. With the Ten of Pentacles energy, um, you're supposed to have longevity with this person. You're supposed to build some type of um, business, okay? You and this person are still holding on to each other. Okay, what's the next messages here? We have the Nine of Swords, the King of Cups. So, in reverse. So, there's somebody that's lying about stealing your ideas or trying to duplicate you. I don't know what it is that you do. But there's a kink of cups here that could be trying to like manipulate or this could be a masculine. You possibly like seeing the truth about this person or they're trying to like be like you or it's a man. If you are a feminine energy, this is a man that's trying to be like you. If you are a man, it's another man that's trying to steal your ideas and be like you. Okay. But it's like they don't have it like you or they cannot heal. This person is not a healer. This is not their destiny. They're not a healer. Somebody cannot heal from something as well and they're trying to take your work or steal your ideas or copy off of you or duplicate you or feed off of you. They cannot do this. What's the back with eggs here? King of Swords. What's the girl fight? We have the Queen of Swords. Mm. King and Queen of Swords here. This could be a divorced couple. This could be a couple that are that are just in intellectual or they have a clear mind. Or maybe you and this person are both on the same level intellectually, mentally. All right. Um, let's see. All right. We're going to just get some. This. Okay. So somebody could clearly be divination spying. The page of pentacles in, in reverse. Or they're trying to see how they can get out of a situation. Verb. I don't know why I said that. 
because I've seen the Eight of Cups, yeah. Anyway, what's the Ten of Pentacles? So you're supposed to have some type of long-term success with this person whose energy you're holding on to or they're holding on to your energy or, or whatever this is, okay? It's supposed to be like some type of financial windfall that's coming. And maybe somebody here is holding on to you. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, the Page of Swords. Somebody's like watching you, okay? Or they're trying to see if you got in some type of financial windfall. They're like, oh my goodness, did you get it, Bird? Did you get this financial windfall? With the page of swords. So somebody's spying on you. They're curious. They're trying to find some information. Either somebody's like looking into your family. They're trying to find some information from your family. Or they're they're stalking like family members of yours. Uh-huh. And they're trying to see like what's going on with you. What's this page of swords with the ten of pentacles? Somebody wants to know about what you have. The eight of wands. Yeah, so there's communication coming in. Or it's like somebody knows that you're getting something. Or you're about to move fast. Or something is coming to you directly. It's like somebody spies on you and then reaches out. Yeah. Mm hmm. Or oh, this download could have been coming to them like, oh, well, you know Virgo's about to get that Ten of Pentacles or, you know, Virgo's about to get this or, you know, Virgo's about to get that. And this is why someone like reaches out to you or, or something. What's the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands? Or this is why they want to come back to you. What's the Page of Swords, Eight of Wands? Yeah, the Empress. Somebody's holding on to their Empress. Or something could be in a hidden agenda when it has to do with you, Empress. This could be a secret coming out about you. This could be a lot of documents, a lot of paperwork, a lot of emails, or something that's coming towards you. This is a secret that's being uncovered, or this could be unwanted attention. There could be some type of misunderstanding, or somebody's ignorance is getting in the way, or somebody could, they could be very ignorant here. All right. So, yeah, Empress, somebody, the Divine Feminine, that's who I'm talking to. This is Divine Feminine Energy. Also, this, this is a lot of communication coming towards you. All right? Maybe somebody's going to tell you that they're still holding on to you or they're watching you, Empress, or um, whatever they magic they've been trying to do on you or divination spy. Somebody could be getting readings on you. It's not working. The readings are not accurate. The magician and the page of pentacles, the star in reverse, the nine of cups. They're not getting what they want when it comes to these readings. Somebody keeps getting cards pulled on you as well. It's just not working. They're not getting what they want. They're not getting the messages that they want. Okay. Also, somebody could be spying on you to get downloads. I don't know why. Like, I just picked that up. Somebody's like spying on you to get in some type of downloads. Hold on. Let me go on. Um, Yeah, I'm picking up somebody and spying on you to get downloads. Or they're spying on you to see like who's communicating with you or or whatever this is. Whoever this is that's holding on to you. Like, you know this person wants to come back to you, uh, Empress. Or this could be a mother that's spying on you. A Give me the Empress. The Three of Swords. This could be an ex-lover or somebody's hurt. Or they're trying to see if you're cheating, you're lying. Or what's the Three of Swords? Libra energy. We have the Emperor and the Ten of Swords. Give me okay. So, what's the Empress or somebody still holding on to some type of heartbreak, or are you holding on to your ex? What's the Empress Three of Swords? The Judgment. 
So I feel like either your ex is under judgment or you are the ex-lover. Why is the Three of Swords coming out next to you? This could be like a third party. The Sun card. And then the Moon. So I feel like um, you could be having some type of awakening or maybe you need to forgive someone. There could be some type of hurt that you could be dealing with with the Three of Swords. This could be somebody cheating or maybe somebody feels like that's cheating because you're still holding on to someone uh, emotionally. I don't I don't feel like there's any cheating being done or, or anything like that. I just feel like... Um, Hmm. I feel like somebody may want another chance after cheating. What's the three of swords and a judgment? The six of swords. Yeah, so I feel like this is trouble heading your way. This could be somebody's ex-lover. Either somebody's heading your way or this is an ex-lover that's coming towards you. Somebody else's ex-lover because either they know either you're holding on to this person or or whatever this is. I don't know, man. But I feel like you have unfinished business with your ex that could be traveling to you. This could be a cheater or somebody's in a third party and they're trying to get you put in a third party or this person may want another chance with you. I feel like Empress, if you are still holding on to someone, your ex has somebody else. It could be um, somebody. This could be a third party situation, but they could be coming towards you knowing that they are in a third party situation here. wanting a rebirth or another chance with you. So this is where the communication could be coming from. It's a no. No. Have patience and, and yeah, just just stay patient. Anyway, what's the King of Cups in reverse? What's going on with this King of Cups in reverse? Whoever this emotionally manipulative, gaslighting ass, cheating ass husband somebody is. We have the Five of Cups. This person's sad, they're regretful, or they're, they're going through some... This, they're feeling pessimistic because they don't have any ideas, or it's like they can't make up anything. They're feeling very pessimistic. This could be a Scorpio. This could be someone that... This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Somebody wanted to feed off you, bite off you, or copy you. They're, they're regretting doing something, or they're regretting trying to copy off of you. What's the Five of Cups? The King of Cups? Why is always like that? The two of pentacles. Because either they don't have any money or they're disorganized or something about this person's disorganized. They're over, over, um, ooh, I, I'm picking up overbearing. You could have been dealing with a king of cups that's very overbearing. Could be with their emotions. They're not balanced with their emotions. Okay. They're very unstable within their emotions. Like one minute, this could be somebody here that just like they're sad or they just like start like tripping out. And you just be like, what? Like, what is wrong with you? They don't have no creative flow, okay? The Empress has all the creative juices. This could be you. You possibly have the creative juices and someone here is mad because they, they're not as creative as you. Okay, like, this is why the Emperor and the Empress are supposed to come together. Because we both come together and we have the creative juices to come together to create an empire. This person is just not, they just was not never the one for you. Because how they get their way is emotionally manipulating people. But trying to say that you biting off of them or you're copying off of them, it's a no. Why they in reverse? Somebody needs to get their priorities checked. Instead of being overcommitted and, and overcommitted to unbalancing you, they get imbalanced. You're still in the upright. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Whatever this investment they tried to do, it didn't work. Because either they were trying to hate on you. This is an energy that could have been trying to copy off of you and hate off you at the same time. Like, wait a minute. So you're trying to cause me conflict, compete with me, but steal my ideas. Make this make sense. You're trying to steal what I know or steal my knowledge or steal, just steal from me. You're trying to abuse me and then take it back to somebody else. Or this person could have been trying to steal your ideas and take it back to their funky ass ex. Bitch, is you crazy? Are you stupid? Are you slow? Are you retarded? Are you dumb? What is wrong with you? 
This is why they're in the two of pentacles and they can't get balance. They lose the money. They're, they're spending money more than they're making. What's the two of pentacles, five of cups, king of cups? Ugh. Okay. The star card. Yeah, it's like somebody's like trying to be a star. They're trying to be famous or they're trying to get into the spotlight or they're trying to be a healer, but it's like they don't know how. We have Aquarius energy. It's like somebody's trying to be spiritual. They're trying to find their faith and their purpose, which is nothing wrong with it, but you're not going to be able to find your faith or, or you're not going to be able to find your purpose by copying off of somebody else or um, trying to hate on somebody else. Find your own purpose. Also, somebody could have been trying to juggle you when you were the fucking star. Look, I keep seeing the five of swords with this temperance. Somebody does not like that you're so tempered, you're balanced, you're peaceful, you're sanguine. They're like, oh, man, you're just too peaceful for me, Virgo. You're too peaceful for me. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like you're a star. You're a healer. You have hope. You're calm. You're like, okay, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just like, even when this person could have been trying to duplicate and feed off you, you just still remain peaceful. You still remain in your purpose. Yeah, you still remain happy. And I feel like 2121, somebody does not like that about you. And it's like they want to cause conflict and steal your ideas. Like, wait a minute, damn. It's already being seen that you're jealous as fuck or you're hateful and you want to cause conflict. This is why you can't get balanced and this is why you can't heal. Because look at the shit that the energy that you try to, you try to put your emotions off of your emotional baggage on somebody else. Get your energy in check. And, and wonder why you, you can't, you, you're still in the reverse. You give bad advice. It's like somebody steals somebody else's advice or steal your advice and they take it and give it to somebody else. No. Have your own advice through your own experiences. Don't try to take my shit. What's the king of swords? The king of the queen of wands. Give me the queen of wands and the king of swords. So somebody could be telling the truth about um, somebody doing a lot of divination or doing earth magic. Or somebody cut off this queen of wands. Because this Queen of Wands was doing magic or they were practicing in some type of magic. Or and and um I feel like somebody could be telling the truth to this Queen of Wands, like, man, I'm back with my ex or I'm back with the person or whatever, or they're cutting off this Queen of Wands. Alright. <clears throat> Who the Queen of Wands? Whoever this Queen of Wands is, this could have been somebody that could have been doing dark magic. And this King of Swords knows. Yeah, the Hangman, Pisces energy. Somebody could have been trying to sacrifice somebody through divination. Or they could have tried to do some earth magic to have a person sacrifice. So I feel like somebody is taking a moment to pause and reflect, or maybe you need to take a moment to pause and reflect, or you could be viewing things differently from before. Yeah, the Knight of Cups that somebody just wanted to have a one night stand with you, or somebody just wanted to come in and love on you. What's the Hangman and the Page of Pentacles here? So Virgo, is this your is is the Queen of Wands Virgo energy? No. It's a, it's, a, it's a Sagittarius. It's a Sagittarius. That could have been um, overindulging. So some, whoever this is, they could have cut off a Sag. Or a Sag could have been divination spine. Or whoever the Sag is, they could be... They could be now, sometimes Sagittarius can be procrastinators. They can be big, big procrastinators. So maybe this ex could be telling you the truth that they cut the sag off or um, they're like, man, I, that person couldn't give me nothing. The ace of pentacles, the two of wands or somebody made a choice to lose some type of opportunity or, or whatever this is. But I feel like whoever this temperance energy is, they're, they're imbalanced. They're doing things in an extreme or they overindulged. This is why they could be going through some type of karma right now. Because either they did some type of magic on you because they were jealous, bird, or this person's gotten caught. 
this could be a fallen angel. This could be someone here that struggles. Okay, they're not they're not balanced. I mean, they come up in the upright, like they're good for business, but they do dark magic to come up in the upright. Yeah, this is someone here that divination spires. Could be a sag. All right, that's heavily imbalanced. Yeah, this person is there in the Five of Pentacles. They're going through some type of financial loss right now, or they're in need, or this person could be insecure, or they, something here is going on with their finances. It's because they're on the bottom of the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. I don't know what they did. What did they do to be the Five of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups. Something here when it has to do with pleasure or being selfish or making some type of wish here. What's the Nine of Cups? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so Nine Nine could be significant. So somebody was like wanting something to be completed for their own selfish reasons or their own selfish gain. It's like somebody could have been wishing nightmares on you or they could have been wishing that you would be hopeless and despair or... and Yeah, so this is why they're going through what they're going through because they wished you were... Uh, fearful or they wish some type of nightmares despair or, or trauma on you and I feel like they were successful with this with this despair or, or this trauma they were um, this they because they took action to do this to you they took action to either try to make you in the to be the tempers in reverse to make you um, something here about you losing balance or protection so now this could be happening to them they wanted you to be hopeless or they wanted you to be in despair, which they succeeded. That This was a wish that came true for them, but they sacrificed themselves. Now they're in a five of pentacles or they're broke or they're, they're going through some type of financial loss because of that wish. This was a temporary, something was very temporary for you, but whatever they did, this could be life changing for them. So somebody did something temporary to you and now something is life changing for them. Now they... They have to struggle. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a big change. 7-Eleven on the clock. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So somebody here cut somebody off. Or they cut off this um this Queen of Wands. Yeah. This could be a Sag. Anyway. What's the Queen of Swords here? So now somebody wants to fight someone. Or there's a Queen of Swords here that said something. Or somebody spoke something. All right, what's the Queen of Swords? Libra Energy. We have the Four of Wands. So somebody could have spoke something to a community of people or they spoke some, or somebody's trying to rally up a community of people. What's the, what's the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles? So I feel like, yeah, somebody works with the community or somebody could be trying to work with the community. What's this girl fight? Arguments, physical fight, at war, and competing with the Queen of Swords for a while. So somebody called somebody out. Somebody either called out a neighbor or somebody, this has something to do with what somebody says, what they spoke, what they said. This could be you, Virgo. Maybe you're skilled at communication or you just, your discernment is like top tier. You know, somebody could have been trying to call you out or whatever. What's the Queen of Swords? It's the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The Hierophant. All right, so somebody could be married. Um, somebody could be in a commitment. Somebody could also work for the government, and you possibly could have called this out. Okay. And somebody could have worked for these energies. Yeah, you could have exposed it, and I didn't want to fight you. All right, what's the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant? So maybe you were very truthful about something. And what's the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant? So you're working on something, Virg. Okay, we have the Emperor. Aries energy. Boss energy. What's going on with this Emperor? The Nine of Wands. So Emperor is Nine of Wands. So maybe you could be you could be calling out this emperor because in the queen of cups and the hierophant energy. So all right. 
So this emperor could be the king of swords, but this emperor could be part of some type of institution right along with this queen of cups. You see how that is? But this person could be a knight of wands. So this emperor could be flighty, in and out, a player. And there's and, and they have a queen of cups, a cancer Scorpio Pisces. That could be a part of the same organization. They work together. So maybe you call these people out, Virgo, and somebody's mad. They at war or they want to fight you for some reason. Five of Swords is here. What's the Emperor and the Nine of Wands? But I feel like somebody needs to check this Emperor because they're a Nine of Wands or, or something like that. Maybe you called out a whole community, a whole organization or something like that. Or you use your discernment. You have the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. So what is their problem with you, Virg? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Because you speak the truth, you have discernment, or you're very intelligent. I mean, that's not no reason to be coming at you sideways, the fuck? Or somebody trying to get somebody to come towards you? What's this, Queen of Swords? And I feel like you're going to stand your ground. What's up, Queen of Swords? Yeah, okay, so you're the Empress? Or you're sitting pretty, or what, what? what's this Empress here? The King of Swords. So, you, you see what I'm saying? The Queen of Swords, the Empress, the King of Swords, the Emperor. Like, this is the, so, you and this person are, so this is your divine counterpart. So, you called out your twin flame. And I feel like people are, are mad or you have a whole community of people like mad because you called out your twin or your divine counterpart. The person that, I mean, okay. Yeah, that didn't get off the ground because the eight of cups, the five of pentacles. Somebody was very controlling or they wanted to control something. So you ended the cycle. You're like, okay. So this is why you're just the empress on your own or whatever or Okay, what's what's this about? I feel like this King of Swords is protecting you. All right, whoever this is, this Emperor could be the King of Swords. They're protecting you, Empress. Somebody wants to fight you because you're the Empress, or they want to fight you. I don't know. I mean, but this King of Swords is coming out like in front of you. I feel like this they ain't finna let nobody fucking touch you. Whoever this King of Swords is. This period. Okay. They not about to let nobody touch you. I don't give a fuck. What you have said or what you what you did. This King of Swords is not about to let nobody touch you. Yeah, the sun. For some of you, you could be pregnant. There could be a pregnancy coming out. Sun in a tower. And that's why. They're like, no, you're not going to touch that person and they're pregnant. You, you're not going to do that. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to do no whole shit like that. No immoral shit like that. You're not finna just go and, and touch on this person or or try to put hands on this person now because they're pregnant. That's some whole ass shit. What's the tower and a sun? So there could be a pregnancy coming out. We have a queen of pentacles here coming out sideways. This person could be going through it. Yeah, the ten of swords. Something is ending with this with this Capricorn. Or this person is going through some type of um ending right now, an abrupt ending. Maybe this could be being seen. They're being betrayed. Anyway, Bird, what's next? In closing. Yeah, somebody's going to jail. Somebody's going to take a risk and they're going to either go to jail or they're going to get locked up. And that's their judgment from attacking you, the Seven of Wands. They attacked you right along and in the, in the, they, they got themselves in an the investigation. They caught up. Now they worried. Anything else for Virgo? This is crazy. We have the justice. Look. You're getting justice. That's how we end in this reading. These energies spend to get locked up from trying to come for you. They need to leave you the fuck alone. You can't be... I feel like it's like energies want to cause chaos and conflict because of something that you said or because of some, some type of truth that you spoke. And you did it sitting pretty as well. And, and you're going to continue to uh, speak the truth. But what I'm getting is this is someone that feels like, oh, you can't exercise your rights. You need to shut the fuck up and I'm getting you're not. Maybe if they shouldn't be watching you or trying to research you, then we wouldn't have this problem. But there's people that literally sit up all day and fucking watch you. They stalk you. And then they have something to say about you because of something that you said. But it was the truth, though. So how the fuck you going to get mad because I'm speaking the truth? 
Get your ass somewhere else and be comfortable with the lie that you're living. We do not fucking care. But over here on this channel, we're going to speak that real shit and we're not going to sugarcoat it. Then if people feel some type of way because they want the they want the truth to be handed to them with sugar, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. We ain't sugarcoating nothing over here. And that's on Mary had about five little lambs, okay? Justice is here. Something's going to be equal. Equal give and take, equal balance, okay? Judgment, the um her hermit. A decision is being made after inv investigation is complete. Whatever this decision is, it's going to be made. Virgo. So, let's see. Let's pull some of these for you, Virgo. Yeah, whoever this is that chose money over love. But when that money run out, though, do you still have that loyalty? Because somebody has secrets that they don't want to get out. But I feel like it's going to be exposed. Yeah. Evil eye marrying each other i have a secret child in reverse it's coming out somebody doesn't have a secret child anymore or the secret child is coming out it's being exposed yeah you have chemistry and a strong attraction to someone whoever this is that chose money over love they chose to dog you in front of the karmic mm -hmm. they don't complete what they finish i feel like you could be completing something we have 999 the end of a cycle is near there's no one like you but I chose money over love. So somebody chose stability over love. Deep down, they can't be monogamous. See, with the karmic that they with, they can't be monogamous with that person. They let them cheat and do whatever the fuck they want to do. They let them cheat. They let them cheat. On, but when it comes to you, Empress, nah. We have health issues. You're here to teach people about unconditional love. You with that magical yoni, yup. Yeah. Okay, bird. You're going to always be mine. I'm interfering in all your relationships. Somebody's going to cock block. Look, I told you the King of Swords is literally protecting this empress. Protect, protecting you from a karmic. Because this karmic is a crazy bitch. They don't have nothing to lose. Whoever this is, they are literally in a karmic relationship right now. They are in a karmic relationship and they're protecting you from this person. Yeah, your masculine. True twin heel masculine. That came out in Aries reading. So some of y'all can have Aries placements. New love is coming for you. Karmic doing everything to make them stay. And I'm getting my shit together. Somebody getting their shit together, Aries. Uh, ooh, I mean, uh, Virgo. I'm coming back. Yeah, you belong to me. Justice will be served. And that's how we end in this reading. Justice will be served to those who wronged you. Somebody wants to fight you. Somebody want to fight a pregnant woman. Like, you got to be the weakest motherfucker. Or if this is, yeah, somebody wants to fight you and you're pregnant. For some of you, or somebody wants to fight you when you're you're the empress and you don't do that. Like, the empress doesn't, we don't do all that. That's like the bullshit. The empress is pretty, but I feel like this king of swords is going to stand in the way. They're not, nah. That's not what they, nah, that's not that. King of Swords not having that. They're like, nah. Notice you come out as the king, the queen of swords. They come out as the king of swords. You come out as the empress. They come out as the emperor. Or maybe they come out as the queen of swords. Maybe this person's trying to call you out. But they stood in the way for you. So somebody's just, like, they're not, they're not with it. Okay, Virgo. Vice versa. So I feel like whatever they're going to try to do, they're going to try to expose some type of secrets about this man or, or feminine energy. Whoever this is, they're going to try to expose some type of secrets because they can't get to you by putting hands on you or or, or touching you in that matter. I, I would advise them not to do that. But um, how they're going to do it is they're going to try to come in with either an offer or they're going to try to expose this man. I feel like you need to run away from the situation. You need to go need to leave i wouldn't even entertain it at all okay so that was your message virgo like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on and i'm gonna leave it there bye